What's up guys, welcome back. Soup season is in full swing and today I have something very special for you guys. This is my recipe for potato soup. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, let's get in the kitchen and make it happen. First things first, we're gonna need about one and a half to two pounds of potatoes. For this recipe, you can use gold potatoes, white potatoes, or russet potatoes. Just make sure to peel them as best you can and clean them off thoroughly. Make sure there's no dirt or anything on those potatoes. And then we're gonna take out our knife and dice these up into bite-sized pieces. We're gonna blend most of the potatoes, but we do wanna leave some chunks, so there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Just cut them into bite-sized pieces. Looking good. And just repeat that process until you have all of your potatoes diced up. This recipe is absolutely packed with flavor. Perfect for the winter in these colder months. Definitely comfort food. One of my favorite soups for sure. Here we go. This knife is making quick work of these potatoes. And there you have it. They're nice and diced up, ready to go into our soup. We're gonna dice up one yellow onion as well. That's a medium sized onion. We also have four strips of thick cut bacon. And of course, one and a half to two pounds of potatoes, depending on how much you wanna include in the recipe. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna get our skillet on medium high heat and we're gonna cook this bacon nice and slow so that it has time to render all of its delicious fat. That fat's gonna be the foundation of flavor for this soup. If you're not into pork, no big deal. You can omit the bacon or you can substitute it with turkey or beef bacon. If you're not using any bacon, make sure you go in with a, you know two or three tablespoons of butter just to get the process started. And then we're gonna add in that onion and allow that to saute until the onion becomes tender. Once the onion's nice and tender, we're going in with two tablespoons of garlic paste and one tablespoon of chicken base. Keep in mind guys, that chicken base does have quite a bit of sodium in it, so we don't need to season our soup but so much. Just make sure you taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. Next, we're going in with a fourth cup of all-purpose flour. That's gonna be the thickening agent for our soup. Just mix that well into your onion mixture until it forms a paste and cook that for one to two minutes until that raw flour taste goes away. That's about what you want to see right there. Next, we're going in with three cups of chicken stock. You can use low sodium if you want, that way you can monitor the salt that's going into your soup. Mix that well to combine all the ingredients and then bring that up to a boil. Once it reaches a boil, we're gonna reduce it to a simmer and we're going in with two cups of whole milk here. You can use half and half also if you like. Looking good. Once we've mixed in that milk, we're going in with our potatoes and we're gonna bring that up to a boil until the potatoes get nice and tender. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. Make sure you check that out. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any other soups you want to see before winter is over because time is flying. I can't believe we're almost into February already. All right, next step is to incorporate some cheese. I have some Cracker Barrel sharp yellow cheddar right here, about eight ounces. We're going to shred that up. I do recommend shredding your own cheese just because it melts so much better. The store-bought stuff that comes pre-shredded in the package at the store has anti-caking agents on there and it makes the sauce kind of clumpy and you just want a real nice smooth consistency on your soup. We're doing the fork test here to check on our potatoes. Looks like they still have a little bit of ways to go. What you're checking for here is how much resistance the potatoes are given to your fork. Just want to keep it going. The whole process takes about 30 minutes or so. Well, that was aggressive. As you can see, we're going in with our immersion blender here. You can use a hand masher or a potato masher or just a hand mixer, whatever you prefer. The goal here is to just blend up those potatoes to give you that nice potato soup consistency. There we go, that looks perfect. Oh man, that looks good. 
working over medium heat right now we're about to melt in our cheese but not before we go on with that diced bacon that we fried up earlier this is definitely a loaded baked potato soup oh man nothing like a good warm bowl of potato soup on a cold day all right on low heat we're gonna mix in that cheddar cheese make sure you save some to plate your dish up later and just slowly mix that in until the cheese melts beautifully into our soup and again guys taste as you go adjust the season into your preference you'll notice that we're just now adding more seasoning you don't want to do too much too soon because once it goes in there you can't get it out but you could always add more later we went in with a little salt pepper garlic and onion powder you could add a little hot sauce here or cayenne pepper if you want to spice it up look at that beautiful consistency guys we still got some chunks of potatoes in there which is what i like spoon it into a bowl top it with some more cheddar cheese about a tablespoon of sour cream and of course a little bit more bacon because why the hell not oh man where's my spoon i can't wait to get in there You know we gotta garnish it up with some diced chive just for a pop of color and of course onion goes really well with this anyway a couple quick trademark money shots this is a soup entry into the food porn category I think I finally found my spoon for the taste test I can't wait for you guys to try this one you gotta come back and let me know what you think Mix all those toppings together to get the perfect bite. All right, the moment of truth. Oh man, the face says it all, guys. If you don't point at your food, it wasn't good. That's the one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to enable notifications as well. And as always, thank you for your support.